Greetings, dear viewers. I'm Quill Quickcard, and I have an interesting idea. There is an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation where several characters are working together in the holotech, prompting the computer to help them design a table. I want to see how well ChatGPT can do with the exact same task. So I will be providing it the same prompts that are given to the computer in the episode, and we will see how the two compare. First, of course, it needs to know what it's doing. Hello. I am going to be testing your ability to refine images based on prompts. I will refer to you as computer when giving my prompts. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. You can refer to me as computer when giving your prompts. I'm ready when you are. Very well. Let's begin. Well, you all remember a table, so let's start with that. Computer, show me a table. And there we have our first prompt. So in the episode, it does not actually generate the first design on this first prompt. But we are going to do it here as a starting point. So computer, show me a table. What can you design for me. Show me something interesting. Okay. Here is a simple wooden table with a polished surface and a natural wood grain finish. Let me know if you'd like any adjustments. <laughs> oh, we are definitely going to want some adjustments. Computer, show me a rectangular conference table. Very well. Computer, show me a rectangular conference table. And here we go. Here is a rectangular conference room in a modern office setting. Let me know if you'd like any changes. All right, fair enough. But uh, I think we can make this a little weirder. Computer. Decrease the table's surface area by 20% and incline the top 15 degrees. Computer. Decrease the table's surface area by 20% and incline the top 15 degrees. This should be interesting. Here is the adjusted rectangular conference table with a 20% smaller surface area and a 15 degree incline. Let me know if you'd like further modifications. I'm fairly certain, well, I mean, it does have less surface area. The image is inclined, but definitely not the table. That's okay though, because we're gonna keep going. Computer, make this a metal table. Well, let's see how weird we can get it. Computer, make this a metal table. What can you make that is metal? Here is the conference. <laughs> Here is the conference table now made of polished metal with the same incline and reduced surface area. Let me know if you'd like further adjustments. Oh, sweet. I'm glad they made sure to keep the 20% smaller area. Interesting design choice. Computer, lower the surrounding light level. Okay, next step. Computer, lower the surrounding light level. Here is the conference table with dim and moody lighting. Let me know if you'd like further adjustments. Okay, well, uh, 
at, at least we got rid of the 20% smaller area. So I guess that's a step in the right direction. But there's still more to do. Computer, give me a bright light right above the table. An overhead lamp. At least two or three meters above. Computer, give me a bright light right above the table. An overhead lamp at least two or three meters above. Uh, okay, it's, it's going to give me options, I guess. Here is an overhead table with bright lamp positioned two to three meters above, casting focus light onto the table surface. Uh, here's the conference table with a bright light overhead. Um, man, we've gotten... Uh, I'm not, not a big fan of the chairs. But I think these chairs look a little bit more comfy. So let's take this one. We're still not quite getting away from this conference table setup but let's 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 do our best let's see what we can do computer create a restraining arm attached to the right side of the table at the midpoint okay let's see what it can do with this computer Create a restraining arm attached to the right side of the table at the midpoint. This should be interesting. Here is the conference table with a sturdy metal restraining arm attached to the right side at the midpoint. I would strongly disagree with that assessment. Uh, you appear to have added a single microphone. Not quite what I was going for, but you know, maybe, maybe it'll figure it out if we just push it a little bit more. Computer put controls on the restraining arm, a control panel, lights. And there's our next step. Computer, put controls on the restraining arm. A control panel. Lights. Surely you can start moving more in the direction of, like, lab equipment. You you refuse to move away from this conference table thing. Here's the conference table with the restraining arm now equipped with a control panel featuring button switches and indicator lights. I really don't think that's an accurate statement but uh okay you, you you've definitely still got some chances to figure this out i believe in you computer create a metal swing arm double jointed total length one meter connected to the head of the table well this should be interesting Computer, create a metal swing arm, double jointed, total length one meter, connected to the head of the table. Surely you can figure this out. Here is the conference table with a double jointed metal swing arm, one meter in total length, connected to the head of the table. I, uh, well, we're 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 back to twenty percent. I guess. Honestly, this looks more like a serving tray or something. Chairs have gotten a little more bendy. We're we're getting, I think, further away from the concept, but maybe maybe we just have to keep working at it a little bit. Computer, produce a pair of scissors attached to the armature. All right. Computer, produce a pair of scissors attached to the armature. Do something interesting. Get away from your obsession with the conference table. Here is the conference table with a pair of large industrial scissors attached 
to the end of the double jointed swing arm. No. No, there isn't. I mean, also, this arm is apparently just enormous, given that it's in the background. And, I mean, I, I, I guess we've also lost the 20%. Computer, make the handle a single piece grip. 10 centimeters long, solid metal. Computer, make the handle a single piece grip. 10 centimeters long, solid metal. Come on, I trust you. Here is the updated version with the industrial scissors featuring a single piece solid metal grip 10 centimeters long. Let me know if you'd like further adjustments. Okay, okay. We're, we're getting closer to like an exam table idea, but it is still, it adamantly refuses to an any way diminish the fact that this is a conference room table. It is absolutely steadfast in that. Make one blade longer. Curved inward. Okay. Now make one blade longer, curved inward. You can do this. You can do it. I know you can do it. I... Come on. Here is an updated version with one of the blade of the industrial scissors longer and curved inward. Let me know if you'd like further adjustments. There, there, there is no blade. There was no curvature. It looks like it's trying to draw a reflection, but the angle doesn't quite line up. Uh, also, the control panel is apparently set over the point where this connects, and... I don't even know what that is, but, you know, it's it's still got one more chance. One more chance. Come on, you can do it. And give the other blade a jagged edge. And, lastly, give the other blade a jagged edge. Come on. You can do it. And here is our final product from ChatGPT. Here is the modified version with one blade of the industrial scissors longer and curved inward, while the other blade has a jagged serrated edge. That is absolutely not what is being displayed here. So, I'm afraid our experiment is done. It would appear that we have not quite reached Star Trek levels of computer-generated table manufacture. I am so sorry to say. But maybe with some dedicated R&D, one day we too will be able to, uh, well, get a description that actually describes the image. I think that's going to be it for today, and I will see you all on the next one.